go. Hey guys, good morning. This is Brad Krantz. Welcome to my Monday morning leadership. Today we're going to be looking at quality number 14, problem solving. You can't let your problems be a problem. And this is from John Maxwell's The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. And again, I want to share from my heart just a little bit of where I'm coming from and what motivates me and why I'm doing this series. But Gary Vaynerchuk said this here in one of his videos. He said, your personal brand is your reputation. And I think as we know, our reputation is everything. It might take months or years to develop it. And in just you know minutes, you can lose your reputation. But he says, your reputation in perpetuity is the foundation of your career. You constantly build your brand through communication and content creation. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And I'm always keeping in mind that my content should not be about what's in it for me. Hopefully you can tell that, but what's in it for you, my audience. So I hope to keep giving you value, so join me today. John Foster Dole said, the measure of success is not whether you have a tough problem to deal with, but whether it's the same problem you had last year. Great point to ponder as we start, isn't it? You know, the founder of Walmart, Sam Walton, you know, has been called many things. We're not going to go into a whole history of him and his success, but, you know, he's been called the enemy of small town America, the destroyer of Main Street merchants, et cetera. You know, you like him or you don't, you like Walmart or you don't. But since his death, the company has continued strongly and its leadership is still solving problems as they rise and they're keeping Walmart and their other retail chain, Sam's Club, moving forward. In fact, the recent 2020 list of Fortune 500, guess what? Walmart ranks number one. You know, effective leaders like Sam Walton always rise to the challenge, don't they? It's one of the things that separates winners from whiners. While other retailers complained about the competition, Walton rose above it by solving his problems with creativity and tenacity. You know, no matter what field you're in as a leader, you're going to face problems, okay? They're inevitable for three reasons, okay? Number one, we live in a world of growing complexity, right? Second, we interact with people, and I kind of kiddingly would say, you know, if we could just get rid of people, we wouldn't have any problems, right? But thirdly, and this is an important one that kind of really hits on where we're at today, we cannot control all the situations we face. You know, this COVID-19 shutdown that we're still dealing with and working to come out with, we can't control that situation. So there's always problems that are, that are upon us, and we just, we need to be aware of that, you know, in every situ we, situation we face. You know, that is life, after all, on planet Earth, right? You know, leaders with good problem-solving ability demonstrate five qualities, according to Maxwell. Number one, they anticipate problems. Okay, recall that leaders need to be proactive, so we're not caught off guard. You know, problems are inevitable, right? So good leaders anticipate them. You know, anyone who expects the road to be easy will continually find themselves in trouble, because guess what? It's not. You know, if you keep your attitude positive, and we covered that last week in positive attitude, but plan for the worst, you'll find yourself in a good position to solve problems that come your way. Number two, Maxwell says they accept the truth, right? People respond to problems in these ways. You know, they refuse to accept them, okay, kind of bury their head in the sand. They accept them, and then they just put up with them, or they accept them, and they try to make things better. Where would you like to be on that spectrum? You know, leaders must always do the latter, okay, just in case you didn't know. Effective leaders really face up to the reality of a situation. Like Jack Wells said, face reality as it is, and we have to do that as leaders. If you're a leader, you have to do that. Thirdly, they see the big picture, okay? Leaders have to continually see the big picture. They can't afford to be overwhelmed by emotion, and this is really important. They can't allow themselves to get so bogged down in the details that they lose sight of what's important. And number four, they handle one thing at a time. Okay, surprising. Richard Sloma said, he gave this advice, never try to solve all the problems at once. Make them line up for you one by one. And while that's humorous, there is a great deal of truth behind that. You know, leaders who get into trouble most often are the ones who are they're overwhelmed by the sheer size or volume of their troubles, and then they just dabble at problem solving. You know, if you're faced with a lot of problems, the advice is make sure you really solve the one you're working on before you move on the next one. It's going to help you take one bite at a time, one step at a time. Number five, effective leaders understand kind of the peak to peak principle. They make major decisions when they experience a positive swing in their leadership, not during dark times. And this plays back to emotions that we talked about. It's great advice. Don't give up while you're in the valley. 
okay? So let's reflect on this a bit. It, you know, every problem really, guess what? It introduces you to yourself. It shows you how to think and what you're made of, okay? And when you come face to face with a problem, how do you react? Think about that one for a bit. Do you ignore it and hope it'll go away? Or do you feel powerless to solve it? And have you had such bad experiences trying to solve problems in the past that you've just given up? Or do you tackle them willingly? You know, the ability to solve problems effectively comes from experience of facing and overcoming obstacles, right? You learn by, learn by experience and problem solving is no different. You know, each time you solve a problem, you get a little better at the process, right? That shouldn't be any big surprise. You know, if you never try or fail and try again, then you'll never be good at it because you haven't learned. And failures where you learn. To help improve your problem solving, Maxwell suggests you do the problem. You do the following. Number one, look for trouble. Now, this kind of sounds counterintuitive. You know, it's like you're, you're not good at problem solving, but look for problems. If you've been avoiding problems, go out looking for them. Basically, it's face it head on. You know, you're going to get better if you gain experience dealing with them. So really here, the key thing is really to learn by doing. Okay, instead of running away, face it up and face it head on. You know, then there's the thing to develop a method. Some people have a hard time solving problems because they don't know how to tackle them. We really don't get taught that a lot of problem solving techniques. So he suggests the acronym TEACH, T-E-A-C-H, where T is spend time to discover the real issue. E is exposure, find out what others have done. A is assistance, have your team study all the angles. Then C is brainstorm multiple solutions. And H is hit it, implement the best solution. So TEACH is an acronym to help in problem solving. And then surround yourself with problem solvers, right? If you aren't a good problem solver, bring others in on your team who are, right? It helps have a diversity in, on your team. They will immediately complement your weaknesses and you'll also learn from them. So it's good to have, again, a diversity on your team so you can, you know, everybody can pitch in. So guys, hey, I just want to wish you have a great Monday. Remember, you can measure a leader by the problem he tackles. He always looks for ones his own size. If you got some value out of this message, again, it's my intent, and I hope that you did. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you can get for and be notified of further videos that come up. I do Monday Morning Leadership every Monday. And then also, you're welcome to connect with me on social media. I'd love to have you do that. You can check the links there and connect with me that way. Have a great day again, guys. Bye-bye.